Hi! In this video I'll show you this. It's the Dyson V7 Trigger. It's one of the latest models in Dyson's handheld range of cordless vacuums. What I'll do is I'll show you a bit about the cleaner, give you a demonstration of it, and I'll show you the different tools and accessories it comes with. So, let's get going. So this one being in Dyson's V7 range of cordless vacuums means it has a maximum runtime of up to 30 minutes. That is always on the lowest power and it can depend on the tools that you're using if you were to get the 30 minutes. What you will find is you have got the setting on here where you can increase or decrease the power. I'll just give you a demonstration of this. So to switch it on, you just pull the trigger there. So by flicking the switch on top, that will reduce or increase the power. But as I say, what you will find is if you do use the maximum power, and especially if you're going to use tools like this, which is a motorized brush, then it can really reduce the runtime that you get, even down to seven, eight minutes sometimes. Now, while I'm on the subject of tools, I'll show you the three tools that it comes with. The main tool that people will tend to use is this. This is called the mini motorized tool and it's an excellent tool, especially if you're doing things like the stairs um, or a car or sofa for example. And it's very easy to put on and take off, you've got the button on the front there. And what this is designed to do is it's just designed to rotate the brush inside here. And it really does get into carpets and even if you want, yeah, if you want to do the car for example. On the side here you can pop a coin in there to so if you're getting up things like pet hairs, then it is easier to take that apart. The next brush it comes with is this, or tool shall I say. This is called the combination tool. And what this does is it combines two tools in one. So you've got the upholstery element at the front, press the button on the top, and it changes into a brush. So again, that's another, another useful tool. The last one, which is fairly standard on most of the Dyson cordless range, is this. This is the crevice tool. And as it says, this is just designed for getting to small places and it just clips on the front there like that. And again, very easy to use, but very effective. So I've showed you the tools that the Dyson comes with. What I'll do now is to show you where all the dirt ends up. So clearly it's in the bin. And to empty it, what you do is you've got a handle on the top here so it's a little bit different to this, the older V6 models. What you do is you actually pull this up and then the bin drops down at the bottom. That's a really good design uh, compared to the older V6 range. And all you can do is if you hold it over a bin, then all the dirt will come out there. Now the key to any Dyson, whether it's V6, V7, V8, V10, is cleaning it and keeping it maintained. Basically what that means is don't let the dirt build up around here. If you do, then it won't perform as well. What I've done is I've actually produced a separate video, which I'll provide a link here, to show you how to clean these properly. Uh, basically what you can do as a very quick method of cleaning, if you press a button here, just the side, that will lift that off. And what you can do is you can just get a brush around here, uh, normally just a, obviously a very dry paintbrush or something. Brush around here, make sure that's all clean, and then just pop that back in there. The other main thing to show you while talking about the cleaning is the filter. On these you've just got the one filter, which is just on the top there. It is designed to be washed, just rinse it under water, also let it dry properly before you put it back in. On this you can actually take the filter apart as well so depending on how dirty it is just unclip this uh, what you can find after you've washed it for several times that you will need to replace that these are available in lots of places and they're, they're not very expensive at all when you're finished or when it's dry or if you put a new one in it just drops in like that now charging of the vacuum is very easy what you'll find with the Dyson if it is completely flat, you're normally looking around three to four hours to get it charged again, or if it's less than that, if you just want to whip around quickly. 
to charge it. This is the charger it comes with, which has been a fairly standard model for pretty much all of the ranges. What you'll find is it does just pop into the back there, like that. And you have got the indicator lights on the side here to show you when it's charging and when it's fully charged. What you'll also find with these cleaners is that after a time the battery will need to be replaced because as with any cordless device the runtime you'll get will gradually decrease. The beauty of these, and again the same with any of the, the Dyson cordless ones, is that you can actually replace the battery. It is a very easy process, just undoing a couple of screws here. Uh, we do recommend getting the genuine Dyson battery, although there are quite a few aftermarket ones, but once you've undone that and a couple of screws underneath, then the battery will pull off and then you can just replace it. But you shouldn't need to do this for several years. If you're after buying one of these, then I have provided a link below to show you where to get one at a very competitive price. I hope you found it useful, the video on the V7 trigger. Please give us a thumbs up on a YouTube video and subscribe and leave any comments below. Thanks very much.